guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a full face of nothing new so i'm just going to be doing like my everyday makeup when i want to look good i'm going to take my um, new driver's license picture for my 21st birthday so yeah if you want to see the end result then just keep on watching today we're going to be doing my makeup like how i do it every day just priming my face using the hangover primer seriously love this primer i feel like it makes everything look so much more smooth and it hydrates your skin so well so really like that and i got a sample of the nars radiant foundation so i'm gonna be using that today i kind of want to go out and buy it but i don't know i'm poor so i just found out though that for being an esthetician you get like discounts so you get like a discount on nars and then like other brands so i'll probably just wait until i get that discount because i need it <laughs> i've been loving this it cosmetics brush too it's so good you're probably like whoa does that girl wear this much foundation yeah i do <laughs> i like a more like if i'm going to be taking photos or like when i want to look good i do do a full coverage just because like why not oh my gosh there's somebody here why is it always people up my window literally every time next i usually do my eyebrows so then when i do my concealer i can like carve them out i'm gonna use mostly my pomade and then i might go in with a pencil and then i'm in the shade dark brown it's the anastasia pomade it's like drying up i've had this for a year it's literally like <laughs> almost gone but it's like so dry right now then i'm gonna go in with a brow pencil and kind of clean them up just a little bit and then i love the Too faced born this way concealer it's so good i love it go in usually with um the Complexion Rescue Stick Foundation, and I like this as a contour. I don't like it as a foundation. Obviously, this shade doesn't match me, but um, I have tried it as a foundation. It's just like super light coverage and very creamy, I feel like, so. I don't know, it's not the best foundation, but it looks really good as a cream contour because it kind of just like blends away and you can add a lot on. I buff the contour out first and I just use my foundation brush because I feel like it blends it in a lot better than a sponge and it doesn't take any coverage away either. I have tried doing my under eyes with a brush but I just don't really like it. I like a sponge, a damp sponge. Um, and then I'm going to go in and use the light medium powder from Maybelline. I haven't used this in a long time. I like miss it. <laughs> I don't bake every day, but I feel like when I want my makeup to last or I want it to look like I have cheekbones. I do bake under my contour because I feel like it just makes it look a lot more sharp. And then I kind of put the excess like all around my face because I have combination skin. So like, I feel like I'm more on the dry side now, but I still like to set everything down. I usually go in with a bronzer and I literally, I'm going to use the Tarte palette today. There's like a bronzer in here blushes all that kind of stuff um, i'm just gonna use there's only one bronzer shade and it's a little glittery but i don't really mind shimmery bronzers i don't really care i feel like they look a little bit more natural and i don't really contour with it so i feel like it's fine under my jaw too and on my neck so it looks super pale because I know I'm not the palest, but I feel like when you're naturally tan and like 
you're not tan anymore you just feel so weird i don't know how to explain it i don't know i'm just going to contour my nose a little bit just with a little bit of bronzer i don't contour it too hard just so like it's not ghostly looking and with my powder brush and then just dust off this bake and i kind of just like tap it in so it blends and doesn't wipe off any of the makeup and with a little bit of blush I'm gonna go back in with that palette again because I actually like the blushes in here a lot I'm gonna go in with like the super light pink shade it's more of like a coral I feel like it's just really pretty and like light which I like it has a little bit of shimmer to it too so it's kind of pretty as like a little bit of a highlight and then I'm gonna add the highlighter in this palette, it's a little bit more natural and I kind of like that because I don't want something to like emphasize my texture at all, especially in photos. I feel like that looks really bad. Oh, I always forget how pretty this highlighter is. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to go in. The only eyeshadow I'm going to do today is some bronzer on my eyelid because I'm basic and this is what I do every day. And then I'll sweep it on my lower lash line too. I'm gonna go in and then brush up my brows a little bit. Mascara. I'm just gonna use my Lash Paradise and then let it dry and then I'm gonna try to curl them again at another coat of this on or I do like this one too so I, I either use both of these or just one I don't know they kind of do the same thing so I don't really care so I'm gonna do that um off camera because I feel like my mascara literally takes me the longest part that's why I miss eyelash extensions so I'm gonna go do that and then we'll be back and just finish off the lips. Just put one coat of mascara on and now I'm gonna do my lips and then I'll show you how I make my lashes look better than this. Okay, that rhymed. <laughs> Let's go ahead and then do my lips now and then we'll put more mascara on because my lashes are so flat and I don't feel like wearing falsies, so. And I don't every day, like who does? I guess makeup people, but whatever. I've been loving this Aveda lip liner. I got this free from going to school there. That's the only reason I use it. It's in the shade Chestnut. And I feel like it's the perfect like nude color. And I like to overline the top just a little bit because my bottom lips are huge and I feel like it's not even, so it kind of bugs me. I'm loving this lip gloss, the ColourPop Brown Sugar. It's so pretty. I love it. It's like a terracotta color. It's so pretty though. I love it so much. to go over with my Laura Mercier finishing powder and I just take like a really fluffy brush and I like to just dust this on my face. This gives you kind of like a glow. Finally, I'm gonna take my lash curler again and then I'm going to put this mascara on and kind of build my lashes up. I wouldn't recommend, don't curl your lashes, make sure the mascara is fully dry. And I would not recommend heating your lash curler up because I have done that before and I have ripped out all of my eyelashes. So would not recommend. I did that in the sixth grade and it's horrible. But like this makes my lashes look a thousand times longer. Like already before even I put the mascara on. So definitely recommend doing that. Probably not on an everyday basis because it's probably not good for your lashes, but on random occasions when I need my lashes to look good, I do that. And then, as you look at the difference, like this one looks so much better. And then I wait kind of for the top to dry and then I'll go ahead and then do the bottoms. Okay, and then this is the final makeup look. Um, This is like what I do every day. Um, my hair is like literally crazy right now. I don't know how I feel. I lightened it and then I got a little bit of a trim and I did like these face framing pieces, but I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it looks really weird, but I don't know. It's cute. I love the color. It's just, 
I want my hair to grow. If you guys have any recommendations for extensions, like I need extensions like ASAP because <laughs> I hate my hair. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished makeup look. Super easy and super cute. I love this foundation. It looks so good. Like my skin looks super smooth. And like obviously like I have acne and like texture and stuff. And this does not accentuate anything. So like I love this foundation. I probably will end up buying it. It looks so good. And like the color matches me like perfectly. So yeah, this is the final look. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give this video a like and then subscribe down below. I'm going to be doing more videos soon. If you guys have any suggestions, I really want to do like a mental, like something different. Like a mental health video or like relationship things. Like if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.